Well, welcome to Rob's Fix It Shop. I have something. I'm just working on some tires, and I've got this uh, Middleton um, inflation stem, and uh, I really like it because it's got the gauge built right in. Uh, but I noticed that it was pretty far off in its calibration, so I took it apart and calibrated it, and I thought, well, maybe that would be a good thing to make a video of. So I just thought I'd just do a quick video and show you how to uh, calibrate one of these guys, or at least how I do it. All right, so I already had this guy apart, so this part's gonna be pretty easy, but really what we wanna do is we wanna get inside here, because what happens is, is that air comes in here and it pushes against this plunger here, and there's a spring, and how tight that spring is uh, will affect how the calibration is. So you have to get the screw out, and of course I just already did it, so it's pretty easy to get out, but sometimes they can be pretty, pretty in there, so you really need a good screwdriver, and uh, maybe sometimes put a pliers or a wrench on here to get it out. Right, so we're gonna take that out. Okay, and then we've got a little plastic washer that we can kind of pry out. Put that like that. And then we have a rubber washer or gasket that we can pry out, right? And then here, this is the end. This is our, um, our gauge. I'm gonna knock that out. Came out a little harder the first time, but um, yeah, you can get it out. And so generally, so there's, let me just take it apart and I can show you how it works. So we're gonna take this, this is kind of the set screw, right? So once you set the, set it, uh, you use this to hold it in place, right? And then inside there, there's another set screw. And uh, hang on, I'm just gonna get a small screwdriver and we're gonna use that to get that out. Right, so how, to, how far in this goes will determine um, how much this deflects based on the air coming in here. We can kind of see that if I take, so I have my compressor down here. Um, not my big one, I've got a little one down here, but um, if we push air into the, the front, right, we can see that deflect, right? So just by kind of looking at that, we should be able to um, adjust our, our calibration. But I'm just gonna take it apart so just so you can see it. Okay, so we got this, we got our spring. at our gauge and it's just kind of written all the way around. We just have a little bit of machine oil on here and um, I may, I'm just gonna clean that out and uh, I'll put a little more machine oil in it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put a little uh, brake cleaner in there and then uh, now I'm just gonna put a little, I just got some machine oil here, I'm gonna put that in. Not very much. Right, because really all we're trying to do is seal this plunger right here. Alright, so we're gonna I'm gonna put this back in. Right, and it just drops in. Then our spring goes in. Then our retainer goes in. And then just put it in for a little, and you know, I, don't, I wouldn't recommend, you don't need to take this apart, I just wanted to show you how it works. But, um, yeah, so now what I'm going to do. Alright, so we have our, we have our tube out, and then I got this little gauge here. And, um, I mean, you can use whatever you want for a reference. Uh, I just think that using the gauge on the compressor probably isn't the best. I mean, I have the regulator set, but um, so here if I put this on here, I got it set to about 32 pounds. And if I put it here, 
So it's showing about 36. So I want to kind of tighten it, turn it in a little bit. Okay. That's almost there. Turn it in a little more. Now it's showing 32. Let's check this again. <laughs> That's showing 31 now. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think this regulator is the best. <coughs> Let's try that again. Okay, 32. A little bit high. A little bit more. A tiny bit more. Okay, that's 32. That's 32. So we're good. Let's try turning it up a little more. So we're at about 42. Let's see how this goes. It's a little bit low. Oh, so that's reading right. So, then once we get it in the right place, then we're going to put this in. Snug it up to keep it from moving. Test it again. So this is reading 40. That's reading 40. And then we just need to put it all back together. Okay, so then we're just going to slide that tube back in with this facing up. And there's a rubber gasket at the end so that once we kind of get this all back in there, Right, and I just kind of kept it in the center. Put this guy in there. Come on. And that should be it. We're all calibrated. Well, that's it for Rob's fix a chop. Uh, thanks for coming along for the ride as I uh, calibrated this um, air inflation thingy. And uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.